afternoon. I, 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 There's no place like home. Oh, mate. Uh, I'm sorry I was a bit edgy this afternoon, mate. But must have been all that rich food pressing on my liver. <laughs> Actually, there were four in the bunch. But there was this old woman looking at the basket, and she looked just like Mrs. Jessup. You won't believe it. <laughs> you still have three. May I have one? I'm very hungry. What? Come, Barton. I do not want to be taken outside. Policemen came and took Mama and Papa away. Ik ben Anton van Dorn. Yeah, okay, it's all right, mate. She's, she heard me call your name. And besides, the, the underground sometimes use children as messengers. She could be our contact. Look, down again. Are you sure someone didn't send you to look for us with a message? No, I have no message. I came here because I was tired and my leg hurts where I fell. And I can't remember the way to my Aunt Honey's. No, may I have the radish? You. Yeah. I end. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's it. You eat it. Hmm. Good. You are English pilots, not? Papa and Mama knew many English people. Papa used to go to London for his business. Sometimes we went there for holidays. That is why I go to school, for I learn English. Did English pilots come to your house? Oh, yes, for a long time. Nobody seems to look. My father makes good clothing for the Germans. And no one looks to see what Hansen, the rag cutter, takes away at night in their big bales of rag. But this fun day, the soldiers came. Mama saw them from the top window. Hold them in the front hall, she said to Papa. And he went downstairs. Go. There's no need for you to... Tell us any more if you don't want to. Mama pushed me into a place they had prepared, like a little cave hidden behind a cupboard. Come out when all is quiet, she said. Go to Aunt Honey's. You remember there? But then I didn't remember, and I fell downstairs from the place Mama had hidden me. Now I am here, and you will save me. That should go. Up you get. This the one? Oh, that's, that's a pretty big bruise there. Can you... Does that hurt you at all? Well, I don't think it's sprained then, but... I don't think you should walk on it for a day or two, though. My Aunt Honey will look after me. But you don't know where to find her. That was when I was lost until my own. But now everything will be all right. I have friends, English pilots. Yeah, what's your name? Carla Bunches. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Did the SD or the police take your mother and father away because they found out about them helping the English pilots? I don't know. It could just be because my mother is a Jew. Oh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. My mother was very little Jewish. She had almost forgotten. Just before they came, Papa said, they are getting very angry and frightened now that your people are driving them back. And every night your bombers come over. But you would know all about that. You must not be afraid that I will talk about you. I'm so tired and my leg does ache, so could I lie down again? Yes, sure, yeah. There you go. That's it. Just take it easy. I 
set my prayers at night, Christian prayers my father taught me. Now I am perhaps Jewish. Are the same prayers acceptable, do you think? God, my sweetheart. It's the same God for everyone. That is what Mama said. Good girl. Now you get to sleep. Oh, we seem to have lost Killer Baker somewhere along the way. What are we going to do with this kid? I don't know. Okay, she might be just what she says. A poor little kid who's wandered in from nowhere looking for a place to lie down. On the other hand, she could have been promised four pounds of chops if she can lead the Gestapo to two English pilots moving through Amsterdam. We've got to get out of here. We've got our orders. We're to stay here until we're contacted. But if we stay, then we've just got to get this little Dutch darling out of here. We've got no food for her. I know. I'll get her back to her aunt's place tomorrow. It's all right, love. We're here. Now, there's Armstrong Van. That's where your Aunt Honey lives, right? Oh, yes. She has two cats and a little dog named Young Kid <laughs> and a pond for his goldfish. She's quite rich, I think. She will give you some food. Oh, well, in that case, it's justified, taking the risk. Carla, look, if we're stopped by a policeman or anyone like that, I'm going to have to pretend that I can't talk. You understand? And if they ask you about me, you must say you don't know who I am. You just wanted to get to your aunt's place and ask me the way. You don't know anything about me. I understand. Good girl. I want you, you mustn't mention this place or Anton. You just found me in the street and asked the way. That's all you've got to say. Yes. I know we're asking you to tell lies, but... Mama talked about this when we hit other pilots. She said that these lies, God understands. Good girl. Now, you do know the way to your aunt's place, right? I think so. Always before we went in the car. But I'm sure it's a long way from here. My leg does ache, so... Ah, oh, it's not a problem. Nothing easier. We'll go piggyback. Come on, hop aboard. Dus de eerste straat, links, rechtuit en dan een derde huis. Bedankt. Hier is waar mijn aunt Honey used to live. Ja, I'm sorry, Carl. They were British planes. She's got nowhere else to go. What about her Aunt Honey? My Aunt Honey has gone away. She went after the English pirates that my mother and father helped. And after that, they smashed down her house in the garden. Well, I've managed to scrounge a bit of bread and cheese. Where's my Aunt Honey? Just have something to eat, Carla. It'll make you feel better. 
Well, she's probably in a state of shock. We'd better keep something for her. On the way to the house, everything went so well. It was it felt so good. It was like being out with your niece, your own daughter. On the way back, she had to hold onto me tight. But it felt as if she hated it. Well, little Carla's going to have a very different idea about us after all this. If she's picked up and questioned, why is she going to keep her mouth shut? Well, so what do we do? Take her into a city she doesn't know and, and leave her? She's half Jewish, remember? Do you find you think more about home at this time of day than any other time? Yeah. The locals in the bar. Maggie serving them. Don't you think we'd better go after her? Yeah, all right. I'll find her. Salat. Ha doch nach Haus, eh? Sicher, dass ich mal kann. War wohnt ihr? Fuyao. Ha na na Haus, eh? Lacht ihr mich an? Fuy ihr Vater? Ah, now, now, house. Gott, ich bin betröst. Ich werde wohl ein anderes Gleich nicht. Komm mal mit. To beauty. <laughs> we'll be able to trade those. Well, you've got to admit, mate, she's a better scrounger than you and me put together. Yeah, I think we'll have to stick with that. It is only stuff to make me more hungry. Yes, well, I know how you feel, but it'll do you good. So you try and get some sleep, all right? If we move to Amstel Fane tomorrow, perhaps I can get some food from my school friend's mother. Yes, well, we'll see tomorrow. If we'll have to get food from somewhere. Yeah, well, we'll get something, don't worry. If we move to Amstel Fane then? Oh, uh, look, Carla, we can't do that. You see, you were right. We are British pilots. And we've been in touch with the resistance. And they're going to smuggle us home. But we must wait here until the contact arrives. Mm. Look, we, we just can't go wandering around Amsterdam. Because if we miss him, we might never get home. I see. Then you will leave me here? No. We'd never leave you. We're going to find you a new home. And the resistance, they'll help you the same as they're helping us. I'll go to sleep now, Jim. <laughs> You're a good girl. Mm. Was that they said at the briefing about not letting anything or anyone come between us and the mission? <laughs> it just shows you, doesn't it? As base Wallace don't know everything. There's not much, love. I'm sorry. It's all I could find. I took enough risks getting that much. Yeah, well, you did well, mate. Well, people just aren't throwing food away anymore. Even the scraps are precious. They can use them themselves. I'm 
Well, go on, Carla. You eat it. No, it's for all of us to share. It's all right, love. We're not all that hungry, really. We share. You're still growing, Carla. You need food more than we do. If we don't share, I don't eat. All right. Well, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Oh, mate, this is no good. She can't keep going on a few bits of bread and a bit of chocolate. She's going to get sick. Well, if we could just get out into the country... Yeah, well, we can't get out into the country, and that's all there is to it. We've got to stay here. There just isn't any food. I did my best. Yeah, I know that. We've just got to do a bit better. I will get food for all of us. No, don't be silly, love. You just sit down. For you to go out into the streets, there is a danger. But there is none for me. Innocent kids don't go scrounging in garbage bins, Carla. If the Germans capture you, you'll be interrogated. They won't catch me. I will be careful. Carla, wait a minute. Now, Carla! A little devil. Na, warte, warte mal. Sei ruhig, kleines Mädchen. Ich tu dir doch nichts. Aus der Blieblatt, Ben. Na, sei schön ruhig. Niemand tut dir was zu leiden. Sprichst du Deutsch? Parlez-vous français? Nein. English? You speak English? Ah, see. We can talk. Do not cry. I am not going to hurt you. I was hungry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Please, take the food. I have more, see? Anyway, I'm getting too fat. <laughs> no, I'm sorry for stealing. Please, take it. When a hungry child takes food, it is not stealing. You won't punish me? Of course not. How old are you? Ten. Are you on your way home from school? Do you like school? I'm a teacher, you know. Until four months ago. I'm the teacher of modern history in a very good school. My students are just a little older than you are. And when I get back, if I get back, there will be no, no students. Probably there is no school. May I go now, please? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. You have the food. Thank you. Uh, try not to miss school, young lady. Your lessons are very important. Very important. More important now than ever. <laughs> well, off you go now. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you, sir. Hey! Hey! Look what I have. Herman, Anton, bread and sausage. Oh, you yeah, little beauty. Where'd you get it? Honest to goodness, mate. Oh, we'll be right now. We can last out easier than tomorrow on this. Good sausage, too. Smell that. It certainly is. Where did you get it from? I tried to steal it from a German soldier. You tried to steal it? Yes, but he caught me. I thought it would take me to the ST, but instead he gave me the food. Yeah, and I can see why, too. He's followed you here. It was bait. Oh, and he's coming straight for the door. He's not after a soldier. Did you kill him or hide? Please, he gave me the food. 
He's not likely to be on his own. He'll probably be covered. So we hide. Right. Carter, he knows we're in here, but he doesn't know we're here. So we're going to hide, try and get rid of him. We won't let him hurt him. Ah, there you are. I have been trying to catch up with you. Here, please, take back the food. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I have not come to take back the food. I have come because I'm a silly, thoughtless man. So you have food for lunch. But what will you eat for dinner? And what of the rest of your family? What will they eat? Here, I brought you the rest of the food. I should have given it to you right away. It was thoughtless of me. Thank you. You live near here? Where are your parents? They're not here. No one is here. Oh, I see. Well, even if they were, even if you were hiding somewhere... I'm not hiding anyone. No, of course. But even if you were, your father, perhaps, or your brothers hiding from the SD, they would have nothing to fear from me. I may have to fight the Americans, the English, but not Dutch civilians. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, young lady. I will try to bring more tomorrow. Don't shoot. Shoot your dead man. Can only hit one of us. Please, do not shoot them. Do not hurt them. They're not resistant. They're not the set. They're only British pirates trying to get home. British pirates? Yes, they are. They're British pirates. They are trying to get home. You're British? That's right. British airmen. Fire that thing, you're a dead man. You've only got time to get one of us. I have no wish to shoot anyone. Then put the rifle down. If I do, I am at your mercy. That's right. Better that you put down the weapons. If you do, I will not hurt you. I will not report you. You have my word. Please, they are my friends. They mean you no harm. Please do not hurt them. It is the other way, young lady. That's exactly right, mate, so put down the rifle. My unit is billeted not 400 meters from here. If I fail to return, they will suspect Dutch resistance. They will search every building in the area. If you're at least that way, we'll have a fair chance. But if we let you go, you bring them straight to us. I have no wish to see you harmed. Look at me. A private at the age of 55. What sort of a soldier do you think I am? Flame an awful if you want to know the truth. I'm not a soldier at all. I'm a school teacher. None of us are born a soldier, Heydrich. Klaus. My name is Klaus Hartmann. Until four months ago, I taught modern history to students a little older than she. I've never fired this other man. And I sincerely hope I never do. Can we put down the weapons? Please. If we let you walk out of here, how do we know that you're not going to bring the SD onto us? What choice do you have? To stop me, at least one of you will be killed. And what will you have achieved? The SD is going to search anyway if I do not return. Perhaps. We have at last found the formula for peace between men. Mutual fear and a total lack of alternatives. This isn't peace, mate. It's a truce. You want peace? Hand over the rifle. <laughs> that was tried at Versailles. The result was World War II. The mistake we made was letting Hitler rearm. Forgive me, but I believe the mistake was in stripping uh, people of their dignity. Is that what you've been teaching the kids at school? Perhaps not quite so simple. Well, but what are you going to teach him after this lie? I do not know. I will bring more food tomorrow. Don't bother. Please. It is little enough I can do, meaningless even. But it is something. What the heck do we do now? I don't know. Can't stay here. I think we're going to have to. You reckon we ought to trust him? If we had any choice in the matter, I wouldn't. But we haven't. 
A resistance contact expects to meet us here tomorrow night. And if we miss him, we can write off the whole mission. What if our German friend happens to bring along the SD? I don't think he will. I know it's a flame and gamble, but I really don't think he will. All right, but at least we don't have to stay trapped inside. At least we can keep watching the shed from outside. Right. What the hell's he doing in there? I don't know. The point is, what are we going to do about it? If he's not out in a few minutes, we're going to have to get rid of him. Herman. Hey, I thought you were asleep. Are you going to kill him? Come on now. Everything's going to be all right. But are you going to kill him? Carla, our contact from the Verset is expecting to meet us here. Tonight. And if he sees a German soldier, he's not going to come within a mile of us. Give the bloke a chance to get out. All right. We'll give him another ten minutes. Well? Well, the contact should be here any minute. Look, uh, you wait here a second, will you? Do you reckon we should kill him? I think we'll have to. Otherwise, he'll twig that there's a reason for us not wanting him around. He'll suspect a meeting, and we can't endanger a resistance worker. I think we should consider Carla and all this. It's going to be pretty damn hard to keep her busy while you go in there and kill him. Uh, the only alternative is moving him out. I think I must be going soft in the head, mate. All right. Talk to him. Hello. I was beginning to think that you had left. I brought more food. Not as much as I would like, but some. I hope you like cheese. Look, uh, we don't want to sound ungrateful. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Especially for Carla. Yes. It's, it's just that we, we feel a bit uncomfortable around a German uniform. Oh. So you want me to leave? Well, uh, it is all right, I understand. At least this time we are not brandishing weapons. That is progress, yes. <laughs> Thanks for the food. It is little enough. Goodbye, young lady. Truck! That ain't! All right. No other rifle. Move back. Just take it easy. It's all right. He's Dutch? No, he's not. He's a German. That's right. But he's brought us food. Oh, cheap price to pay for a resistance prisoner. He will have troops outside. No, he hasn't. Then he will raise an alarm and they will follow us. He must die. No! No more killing! Out of the way! No more killing! He's all right. He is a German. All right, so he's a German, but he hasn't harmed us. He doesn't intend to. He has harmed every man and woman in this country. Every child. He has destroyed this country. Not this man. All Germans. He is going to die. Now get her out of the way. No. No, I won't. Stop. Leave me alone. Out of the way. Let him go. He's not capable of hurting anyone. If we can't let him go, he will raise the alarm. No, he won't. Are you willing to stake your life on that? That's exactly what we'll be doing. Your papers are right. Uh, just don't draw any attention to yourself. We didn't intend to. Hey, 